At Stitchfix, a San Francisco-based retail startup, data scientists use algorithms to predict what clothes users will like and purchase. We do collect a lot of preference data up front before we even have any experience with the customer. She'll enter things like her height, her age, her weight, her size, her preferences for fit, preferences for style, even her preferences for taking risk. All those things help inform a decision on what clothes we'll send her. So for work, usually I look for skirts or dresses, uh, wear dark tights, some type of ankle boot, um, and if I wear a top, usually it's a solid color um, or some type of floral print. And I usually have a sweater with me for San Francisco weather. When Kathleen fills out her survey, the company will gather up data points, including dress size, height, and location. That information is then fed into a series of algorithms, which then rank order clothes, shoes, and accessories, which the system believes Kathleen will like. The system then routes a list of suggested items, ranked by how likely Kathleen is to keep them, to a stylist. The stylist reviews Kathleen's profile, takes into account notes like if she likes floral prints, and picks five items accordingly. That order is then routed to one of Stitch Fix's five warehouses, where it is picked, packed, and shipped to Kathleen's door. In that first fix, you know, we have more limited information. We know about your profile. We, we know a little bit about people who are like you that can help us to still have good recommendations for you. But as you give us feedback after your first fix and you say like this dress was too small, this color was too bold, like those are things that both the algorithm and the stylist can learn from. important is kind of the, the negative feedback. When we say that we have data that nobody else has, like that's data from the client. The client is letting us know about herself and her preferences. It's data about the product and so you know we know the attributes that actually matter and so a lot of retailers will have fabrication or country of origin. I mean we have those things also but we also know how does this garment fit on people who are of a certain height of a people who um, like a specific style preference and so we actually have the um, data around the attributes that we know matter. When we miss the mark, when we send her things that she didn't like and she says you know this was a little too edgy for me, or this fit too tightly on my shoulders. All that information is good. It not only helps us with her, but all customers like her, and we get to get better and better over time as we learn more about the customer and more about our merchandise and how it does with different customers. And so it's an evolutionary process where we're constantly updating feedback and putting it back in, uh, making new decisions, learning from them, going back, and it gets stronger and stronger over time.